I'm Katherine Burkett. This is Chris Haas. Uh, we are at Pocahontas Middle School. This is Civics and Economics, eighth grade. Uh, today we are going to be learning about economics. All right, guys, good morning. Uh, glad you are here. Um, today we're going to be learning a little bit about economics. Let's look at our learning target. I can use negotiation skills to buy and sell items at the Pearl Exchange. All right, so that is our learning target for today. Um, if you will, turn and talk with a neighbor. What are some things that you would like to buy now but are very expensive, and why are those things expensive? So everybody has a partner, and Daquan, I want you to turn and talk with this group. All right, I heard lots of good chatter. Uh, can somebody volunteer and share with us? Uh, what did you talk about at your table? What's something that you want to buy now, but it's expensive? A new phone. All right. How many of you all would like a new phone? All right. Yep. Those are definitely expensive. All right. Anything else that you were talking about at your table? Something that you would like to buy, but it's really too expensive right now. Vic. Uh, we talked about like getting skateboards and rollerblades. Skateboards, rollerblades. Yep. Very good. All right. Um, so can somebody tell me, let's get back to the phones. Uh, why are they so expensive? And let's think about what's the latest generation that's out right now? The iPhone 15. All right. So if you wanted to go to Apple today and get an iPhone 15, why is it so expensive? Vic? It's like higher demand. Yes. I love how she used the word demand. We haven't even talked about that yet. Um, it's in high demand. So can someone translate that for us? What does that mean in plain terms? Christian? Yes, it's very popular. A lot of people want it. And when something's really popular, what happens to the price? It goes up. Very good. All right. Um, these things I thought you might mention. All right. Can I get a volunteer? I see a lot of smiles. Can, let's start over here on the right. Can somebody tell us what is happening right now with the Stanley Cup? Everybody wants it. Um, and so they're kind of hard to find, all right? And according to my daughter, these are also kind of hard to find. What are these? Anybody know what those are? Uggs, all right, slippers. Are y'all kidding me? These slippers are so popular, they're sold out. All right, um, and then what's this down here? All right, so we've got some gaming consoles. So would you guys agree that those are popular things right now? All right, yep. Well, we're going to talk about how supply and demand influence price, and we're going to use negotiation skills. You guys are going to get up and move around the room in just a minute, and you are going to buy and sell items today. All right, so let's build some background knowledge with some vocab. We have some very short vocabulary. Um, so if you'll get out a pen or pencil, and we're going to build a little bit of vocab before we start our activity. And while we're getting those passed out, um, did anybody have something that they had asked for the holidays and your parents were not able to get it for you because it was sold out? Claire? You wanted those, was it those Uggs? Oh, the Ugg minis, all right, yep. And I think that happened to a few people this year. There were some things that were so popular. You know, when you're younger, it's like the toy of the year that becomes very popular, and if you don't get it in time, it's gone. All right, well, let's talk about supply and demand and how that influences price. So we're going to go ahead on our notes, and we're going to fill in. Price is the amount of money that's exchanged for a good or service. And you guys already know that. Price 
Price is the amount of money exchanged for a good or service. But we're going to correlate that to some economic concepts, supply and demand. All right, so I loved earlier, Vic used the word demand. And demand is the amount of a good or service that consumers are willing and able to buy. And you and I are consumers because we buy the things that we need and want. So sometimes you'll see in a store, it'll say, back by popular demand, all right? And what they're saying is people wanted it so much, they've decided to bring it back. So we consume a lot of things. We consume things that we need, all right? There's some things that everybody has to buy, like what? Food. Clothes houses, gasoline for our cars. But then there's lots of things we consume or buy that we don't need, but we what? Want, very good. All right, so there in economics, there's something called the law of demand. And this says that consumers, so you and I, people that buy things, we're gonna buy more if the price is what? Low. All right, so raise your hand if you've asked your parents to buy something and they've said, we're going to wait till it goes on sale. All right, yep, so a lot of times your parents know we're going to wait a little bit and we don't have to pay as much for that item because eventually it will go on sale. Um, I'm curious, Claire, do you think those Uggs are going to go on sale anytime soon? No. All right, and that's because, you know, they don't have to go on sale. People want them. The demand is so great right now, um, they're sold out. So there's no reason for Uggs, which is the company, to lower the price. All right, what happened to the demand for toilet paper during COVID? Summer. It went up. The prices went up, too. And the prices went up, too. Very good. So during COVID, we found ourselves spending more time where? At home, yes. And so the demand for toilet paper went up because people were home more, and that drove the price up. Good job. All right, let's talk now about supply. Supply is the amount of a good or service that producers are willing and able to produce. So all these companies that produce goods and services, they are producers. All right, so can someone tell me what happened to the supply of Stanley Cups over the past few months? What happened to the supply? Did it go up or did it go down? It went down, very good. Um, the supply went down because people were buying them so fast. And so the supply went down. All right, so let's see if you can together, let's see if we can fill in the blanks. And you don't do this on your sheet, we're just gonna talk about this. The blank for Stanley Cups increased over the past few months. Do you guys think that would be supply or demand? Excellent, the demand for Stanley Cups increased. As a result, the what went down? The supply went down and then the price went up, that's right. All right, so the law of supply says that producers, the person making that good or service, they're gonna produce more when they can get a high price for it. So I bet the Stanley factory, wherever they are making Stanley cups, they are probably working overtime right now because they can't make them fast enough because they are flying off the shelves. Same thing at the Uggs factory. They're trying to produce those slippers as fast as possible because there's so many people that are waiting and want them. All right, well today, you guys are gonna participate in a simulation, all right? We're gonna do an act it out. You, some of you will be buyers and some of you will be sellers, all right? And we're gonna find out who is the best negotiator in our classroom today. 
So you're going to practice negotiation skills. You're going to make predictions about changing markets. And I'll explain that. And the main goal is to participate. All right? So at the bottom of your sheet today, um, you see a brief description about the Pearl Exchange. And so I have today pearls that you, some of you, are going to sell. And these pearls are from the island of Bali. And these pearls are valued all over the world. And they are sold once a week at the exchange that's in this classroom today. And so um, some of you are going to be buyers and some of you are going to be sellers. So let me explain how this is going to work. Um, right now, I'm going to give some of you a pearl. And if you get the pearl, that means you are a seller. All right, so you are a producer and you are trying to sell this. And if you're selling this, what kind of price do you want to get? You're trying to sell this for a high price. But if I don't give you a pearl, that means you are a what? You're a buyer. And if you're buying a pearl, you want to get it for what kind of price? Low. Low. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. You don't need any pens or pencils right now. Uh, let's see. We've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Perfect. All right. Uh, so in just a minute, um, I'll tell you when we're going to start. Daquan is a seller. Summer is a seller. Christian and Chase. Lucas and Naomi. And actually, I'm going to get one more. All right, Collins. Now, if you do not have Pearl, you are a buyer. So let's look at the goal before we start trading. And I'm going to have you get up, and you can move around the room, talk to anybody you want. If you are a buyer, your goal is to buy low. If you're a seller, the goal is to sell high. Let's look at what the rules are for round one. All right, the minimum price is $20. So a seller, those of you that have pearls, you cannot sell it for less than $20. But you're trying to get up to $300. So we're going to assume that all of the buyers in this room, so if you are a buyer, I want you to stand up. That means you do not have a pearl. All right, all of our buyers have at least $300, but they might not want to spend it. They really don't. They're trying to get you guys to sell it for lower. All right, so they can go up to 300, but they're probably not going to do that. Um, but sellers, you cannot sell for less than $20. I'm going to set a timer, and the market will be open. And buyers, at the end of the activity, the goal is you do want to have a pearl. You just don't want to pay what? A whole lot for it. At the end of the activity, producers, you guys don't want to be left with your pearl because then you haven't sold it. So you want to make an exchange if you can. All right? Are there any questions? All right, the market is open. You may begin. Move around the room. Nobody's sitting. We're all standing. Can I, can I like look at it first? Okay. It, it's pretty shiny. I don't know if it's worth 150 though. Can you lower it? Uh, when you make a deal, come tell me. I made a deal. All right, come, come see me. How about 140? All right, what did you, let me have your pearl. What did you sell it for? Two dollars lower. And uh, were you the buyer or the seller? A deal. 135? Awesome. 145. All right, excellent. Y'all can sit down. Once you make a deal, come tell me your trade. 145. Okay, I'll buy it for 145. Wow. All right, Claire bought it for how much? 150. Yes. All right. When you make a trade, come see me. 
I sold it for 145. 145. All right, so Vic, that means you bought it for 145. Excellent. All right, y'all can sit down. Good job. All right, how much? 100. All right, who was the buyer? Okay, excellent cruise. All right, good job, Naomi. 200. 200. All right, excellent. All right, did everybody in the first round buy and sell? No. All right, what happened to you, Daquan? <laughs> so if you guys realized, uh, we have an odd number of people in the classroom. And so what that means is someone is not going to, if you don't act fast enough, you're not going to be able to participate. So Daquan, were you a buyer or a seller? seller. So you still have your pearl. Oh, you couldn't sell your pearl. All right, so I'll take it. All right, so let's debrief together round one, and then we're going to do it again. Um, so I see that this pearl was sold today. Uh, somebody got 250 150 145 200 and $100. So I want to start uh, with the most money that was sold for today. And I believe the most money that the pearl was sold for was 250 Who did that exchange? All right, so um, who was my seller? Lucas, you sold this for 250 How did you get so much money? Um, because I just asked if he wants to buy $250. Oh, so you really didn't have to do a whole lot of salesmanship. All right, so great job. All right, now I'm going to flip it. Um, somebody in this classroom bought a pearl for only $100. Who was able to buy for that little amount? Who was that? Cruz, were you the buyer? All right, how did you get the price so low, Cruz? So you just kept going back and forth until you got, and you bought this from Naomi? All right. Well, so I, it would appear first round, great job as a buyer, Cruz, because she got the lowest price. Lucas got the most. Wonderful job. All right, we're going to do this round one more time, but this time we're going to flip the roles. So if you were a buyer in the last round, come on up and see me because you are now going to get to be a seller. And y'all can just stay up here, stay up front. You're now switching roles, and all of my buyers are now sellers. All right, so for round two, we're going to have the same rules. All right, I'm not changing anything yet. So all of you that are here are now buyers. All right, you have a different role. You have to spend at least $20. You can go up to $300, but you don't want to. You guys know what to do. You're trying to get as much as you can. All right, the Pearl Exchange is open. You may begin. Come see me when you make a trade. I'm selling this pearl for $270. You want it for $150? Yeah. Um, I'm going to sell it for $270. Would you like it? Going to a little. Yeah, I'm going to sell it for $270. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. Oh, what'd you get? All right, now, were you the buyer or the seller? All right, excellent. Thank you. Y'all can sit down. Great job. All right, how much? Wait, what? No, no, I'll do one. So, okay, thank you. All right, y'all can sit down. Great job. Can you one? I'll take two thirty. One forty. Two hundred. All right. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, it looks like that the lowest that we got on this one was sixty, and the highest was 260. All right, that is our lesson for today. Thank you for joining us.